In this week's edition of Higher Ed Highlights, we traveled due south to Portsmouth for the arrival of 130 students for the six-week Summer Bridge program at Shawnee State University. The program is designed to help students with some developmental needs in math and English get prepared for the college-level courses that they may plan to take in the fall. Shawnee State provides classroom instruction and, for students outside the region, residential housing during the course of the Bridge Program, all at no cost to participating students and families. Well, the most important part of this is it's free. Uh, many students who take developmental coursework are taking non-college credit courses and they're paying money for it. They're building up debt. This program provides them with the ability to complete that pre-college coursework and at the same time not accumulate debt um, and especially as they move along in their college career uh, they go away with a, a much better financial picture at that point. In addition to the classroom instruction, students will receive advising and career counseling that will help them determine the next step along their post-secondary path, whether they enroll at Shawnee State in the fall or seek to continue their education at a community college or career technical center. Dr. Mark Scott, director of the Bridge Program and also a Bridge faculty member, and Chris Kaser, administrator of the program, said helping students to become college ready is just one of the benefits of the Bridge Program. We're also going to get um, some familiarity with college life that's going to help them out in those first few months. They're going to figure out a lot of things that's going to take their peers in the fall semester that are already college ready. It's going to take them a little while to figure out, so they're going to not just get into those classes, they're going to kind of thrive in those classes. That's what I really want for students in the Bridge Program. And so one of the things that we want to make sure is that the students are not only, as, you know, as Mark said, college ready, but we'd like them actually to be a little bit ahead of the game when they enter in the fall. So we're going to be offering not just academic coursework, but a number of different both academic and uh, extracurricular programs that are designed to help them make some decisions with regards to career, um, to learn about finances, to learn about the university in general. Dr. Scott said while he hopes all of the Bridge students will matriculate into Shawnee State in the fall, the most important thing is that individual students pursue what best fits their interests and career goals. We're a good fit for them here at Shawnee State. I want them here. Um, I want their success to be here. Um, but learning about what, what other institutions offer, if we're not a good fit, they find something that is. Instead of kind of wandering around and trying to figure out what's the next step in their life, their academic journey can begin the very next, you know, a few weeks from, from the time the bridge program ends. But also, if a student does come here to Shawnee State and they've taken a look at the options that they have, they can be more confident in their choice that they've made. One Bridge student who does plan to attend Shawnee State in the fall is Brooklyn Allen, a Logan High School graduate who is looking to become an x-ray technician and said the Bridge program will help her move along that path. Brooklyn's mom, Amy Kendall, said the instruction Brooklyn will receive and the program's low registration fee hit home with her. Yeah, that's the thing, the no cost. I've not seen any program offer that. $50 for everything that she needs to prepare her. Like you can't even pay for that to do an ACT prep yeah. course. So we are really excited. I can't wait to see how much more improvement we see with grades and she gets a grasp before starting first thing as a freshman, not knowing notes and how to, just the college life in general. Yeah. yeah. Brooklyn will live on campus during the six week program, which she said is a little intimidating since she's barely a month out of high school. It's so early, but I'm ready for it. It's exciting. Look for Higher Ed Highlights on the Ohio Department of Higher Education's YouTube page and through our Facebook page and Twitter feed. And check out our website at ohiohighered.org. Thank you for watching and come back next week for another round of Higher Ed Highlights.